This video is to highlight a few considerations prior to converting existing content in Blackboard to Ultra Course View and to show you two ways to convert your content. The first consideration is your folder structure. If you have folders in folders in Original, you may want to consider reorganizing. As you can see on the left menu in Original, we have a content area. Then in that area is a folder. And in that folder, is an additional folder. In Ultra, that same structure becomes a folder within a folder, which is as far as the folders go in Ultra. It didn't affect the contents of the folder but it did flatten the folder structure a bit. So you can see that this folder used to contain these two folders. So it's empty now, but we still have all of our content. You can consider moving the contents from the original subfolder to the upper level or other ways of reorganization. The second consideration are the features and tools. Since that availability can be updated fairly often, I won't go through everything here. In the description to this video is a link to the Blackboard website that has a list of features and tools that will and won't convert. If you're using things such as tests, assignments, and discussion boards, those will convert and continue to be available. Some tools, such as blogs and wikis, will not be available and won't convert, but you will be able to recreate and rethink those assignments using different tools. Check with CTE and we can help with that. Next, we will convert. We recommend not converting a live course where you will teach the class and students will be enrolled unless you are absolutely certain you will be using Ultra Course View for that term. If not, make sure to use a sandbox course which is identical to other Blackboard courses, but not connected to a live course. If you need one of these, you can request one from the CTE or eLearning services. Once you build in the sandbox, you can then, then copy it to the live course. If you're in an original course that needs to be converted, follow these steps. Go up to the top right corner and click the lock. This makes the course private and should create a little pencil. Click the pencil, which will enable the Ultra Course Preview. Click Try the Ultra Course View. Once it's converted, you can go back into the class and follow the prompts to accept the preview and commit to the Ultra Course View. Remember that once you do this, you cannot undo it. You can then check your course and make changes. So down at the bottom, we have a little button that says use the Ultra course. It will confirm with you and your course is officially in Ultra. Second way that you can use existing content is through course copy. If you're in an Ultra course already and you want to pull in an entire course, go to the purple plus sign and choose copy content. Remember that wherever you choose the plus sign is where the content will come in. You can search for your course and click the checkbox next to the name. Then click Start Copy. That's it. You can copy from Ultra to Ultra or Original to Ultra. If you copy from an original course, it will do the same conversion process that happens when we did conversion the other way. You can also copy individual pieces of an existing course. Make sure you are where you want to be when you do the copy so the pieces come into the right place. So I'm gonna go into module one readings and choose my plus sign and again, select Copy Content. From here, you'll find the source course. 
but this time we're going to click through to find the piece that you want. You can click into the course, go into a particular module for example, and choose one piece. You can choose any different piece. You can also select multiple pieces from multiple courses. And then just as before, click Start Copy. It can take a couple of minutes for the co content to copy in, depending upon how much you're copying in. Once it finishes, you now have your content in Ultra. If you need assistance with any of this, please make sure to reach out to the Center for Teaching Excellence or eLearning Services.